How do we think we can better relate to the public patients that ADD is not about dopamine deficiency and they don't require amphetamines? You know, I think it's 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 a little part of this larger discussion to have with patients. I often will say to sometimes we'll say to patients, for instance, in relation to depression, you know, you don't have a problem with your serotonin and you don't need a serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Um, we don't know that that's relevant at all. These drugs do a million things, so we don't know that that's the issue. Uh, that's the way that they work. So uh, let's just look at that. Focus on clinical research, which shows X, Y, or Z. Um, in the case of ADD and amphetamines, um, one way of looking at it would be to say, you know, uh, everybody gets better with amphetamines. Everybody has more attention with amphetamines. So that doesn't mean that everybody has a dopamine deficiency. It just means if you stimulate your dopamine receptors that you have with amphetamines, you will um, concentrate better. You'll have more energy, et cetera. Uh, just like if you stimulate your GABA receptors, you'll be less anxious. That doesn't mean everybody has an anxiety disorder. Uh, so if something affects everyone, then it's not a disease. Diseases don't happen in 100% of the population, just a smaller percent. Um, so that might be another way of kind of getting at that.